In today's video, I'm gonna give you two ways to easily remove the background of a photo in Windows 11. But before we do that, I just wanted to let you know, as of two months ago, I have joined Microsoft, but I'm gonna keep making these tech uh, tip and trick videos because I wanna help people use their computers better. So we are on the desktop here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is right click on a photo of me at a cafe and simply open it up in Microsoft Photos. In Microsoft Photos, in the top right-hand side, you can see we have our OneDrive, our ClipChamp, our Designer Apps, and all the way on the left-hand side, we have a big blue edit button. We're simply gonna select on this. This is gonna take a second to load into the edit options, and then what you'll see is that we have a range of editing tools like cropping and filtering and adjusting the brightness. And on the right-hand side of that, we have a new AI tab, and just next to that, there is a blur background button which we're gonna select on. This is going to assess the photo as you'll see the border pops around, and you have three options here. The first one is to blur the background, and you can adjust the intensity of that blur. You can choose to remove the background, and of course you can choose to replace the background with a different color. If the background removal is perfect, you can simply select on save, save as, or copy it, or if you wanna adjust the blur a little bit, you can select on the background brush tool option, turn this guy on and you have two options here. The first is to add a mask or the second is to remove the mask. If you wanna add the mask, we can adjust the size of the brush and the size of the softness. And this is where you can improve the blur. So maybe I wanna get rid of my arm a little bit. Just using the mouse here, I'm removing part of my arm. Then I'll jump back and forth and you'll see I've removed the arm there. Or we can turn on the background brush tool again we can choose to remove the mask. So this is adding uh, a bit that were taken away. So maybe I wanna save this star here. I'm um, quickly, this is just a very rough option to show you guys. I've now selected that star. I'll jump from blur and back. And you'll see here that I've removed part of the arm, but I've added part of the star. Obviously, if you wanna do this yourself, take a little bit more time with it, but it is super easy. Then from here, you can simply select on save, save as, or copy it. I'm gonna X out of this without saving for now though and show you the second way of editing the background. We're gonna right click on the photo again, open it up in Microsoft Photos, but this time instead of using the edit option, we are going to select on the edit with designer option. Designer gives you a bit more features and tools when it comes to editing photos. This is gonna take a little bit longer to load, but what you'll see here under the edit tab is we have those same three options Aside from quick actions, you can see the background is remove, blur, or color. If we select on remove, this is gonna take a little bit longer, but it will give us a nice background removal, just like we did in the Photos app. And what you see here is that as it's loading, you have other things you can do like add text and mark up and add visuals. So Designer does let you do more than the regular Photos app, but what you'll see is that it is easily removed that background of the photo. Um, and as you can see, it's removed the background really quickly and easily. Of course, if you wanted to make a few more edits and changes to the photo, you might wanna use Microsoft Designer to allow you to mark up the photo, add more visuals, and make it a little bit more creative. Or if you need to simply remove the background, the Photos app is perfect for a quick two or three button uh, options, and it removes that photo for you, or removes that background for you, I should say. From here in Designer, you can choose to either copy the image or save it and it is that easy to remove the background of a photo in Windows 11. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and if you're gonna supercharge your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.